Hello! I've been asked several times to make a tutorial about platform games, and this is it. Actually, I've, ha I've had this tutorial done for several months, but due to unforeseen circumstances, wasn't able to get it out till now. Having said that, I am a little rusty at my own programming, so I'm just going to cover the basics. It'll be split into two parts, and if you notice these fine graphics on the screen, these were made by the Roencia team and are copyrighted. So I ask and trust that you'll only use those in learning the source code and how to make a platform game. And if you are interested in these graphics, you can support the team by purchasing it for a few bucks, and you can actually make and sell your own games with them. So let's take a look. My character moves just like any normal platform game character. You can see there's a lot of things going on. I can jump on this spring. I can get in this rocket. And I also have some dynamite that I can lay with the control key. And I hit it again and it explodes. So pull up this bridge. I can open this chest, walk up and down ladders, pretty much everything you expect to find in a platform game. I have even the random uh, uh, rock pillar that tries to squish you. Moving on, I have a door, and you can activate, turn on the power of the door by turning on the generator. And something that I, I haven't seen in platform games before is a vehicle. Here's another use of power that you could have in your game. If you turn on the power generator, then you can flick the switch and the lights flicker on. And also you can control this little remote. I'm going to go spook these bats. Oh yeah, they struck me down. Then I got this randomly placed walking tree <laughs> and a torch, which you can pick up and use to burn this wood. This is something you could use to to fuel uh, something in your game or to burn a pot of boiling oil, whatever you can come up with. And now this blimp, which is my favorite vehicle, is stuck in these clamps. But I can open them by pushing this crate on this button. And then I can escape. As I push left or right when I'm in the blimp, its ascent slows down, allowing me to land smoothly on this platform. And then I can finally, to finish off, I can pick up this rocket pack and explore the remainder of the level. This platform pack is somewhat untraditional from, say, a Mario platform pack. So you, you can do a lot of things with this. And that concludes the first part of the tutorial. And let's get on with the different things that we'll be doing.